Welcome to Farm for Life, your source for off-grid living and homesteading, a sustainable lifestyle for a healthier and happier you. We blend the beauty of traditional practices with a modern touch, guiding you towards self-reliance. Join us on this extraordinary journey as we explore time-tested farming methods, sustainable living techniques, and the joy of strengthening our connection with the land. Today, we're exploring the world of self-sufficient living and leaving society. Now, it might sound like a radical change, but trust me, it's all about taking small, intentional steps toward a more fulfilling and carefree life. Change might seem scary, but think about it this way. Most people won't switch things up until staying the same becomes more painful than trying something new. I'm here to guide you through four simple steps that you can start today towards self-sufficient living and leaving society. So. Let's get started. Step one, money. We often find ourselves trapped in a relentless pursuit of more money, driven by the societal pressure of the rat race and the promise of happiness it seems to offer. We work long hours, barely keeping afloat, just to afford bigger homes, fancier cars, and more stuff. But what if true happiness doesn't lie in these material possessions? The truth is, this constant chase after wealth can leave us depleted and unfulfilled. We sacrifice precious time and energy for things that might not bring lasting joy, neglecting our passions, relationships, and personal growth. It's time to shift our priorities and redefine what success truly means. Building self-sufficiency doesn't require complete isolation or rejecting all forms of money. It's about gaining control over your life and finding purpose beyond material wealth. Start by becoming financially aware. Track your expenses, Create a budget and save. This empowers you to make conscious choices about your finances. Focus on developing skills and passions that bring you joy, not just income. Explore your creativity, connect with nature, and invest in meaningful relationships. Simplify your life and declutter both your physical and mental space. Learn to appreciate the simple things and break free from the dependence on material possessions. This journey towards self-sufficiency might be challenging, but the rewards are immense. You'll find yourself less stressed, more connected to yourself and others, and ultimately happier and more fulfilled. Step two, life's a chapter book. Life is a story, not a single scene. Each chapter brings unique experiences, shaping the larger narrative of who we become. Some chapters overflow with laughter and sunshine. Others test us with shadows and storms. But just like any good book, every chapter plays a part in making the story worth reading. When a major change comes, like leaving a familiar your job or venturing into a new land, we might hesitate. We cling to the comfort of the known, fearing the blank page that lies ahead. Yet, it's these turning points, these new chapters, that keep the story moving, keep it vibrant and alive. Staying in the same safe chapter might provide comfort, but it can also stagnate growth. By stepping outside our comfort zone, we open doors to unforeseen possibilities. Challenges in new chapters hone our resilience, teach invaluable lessons, and forge us into stronger versions of ourselves. Even the darkest chapters, the ones filled with tears and struggles, reveal hidden strengths and inner light. Starting a new chapter isn't just about change, it's about creation. It's a chance to rewrite the narrative, pursue passions, and mold a life closer to our dreams. It's the excitement of the unknown, the thrill of a fresh start, and the potential for a chapter overflowing with fulfillment. Of course, starting on a new chapter requires preparation. We need to understand our motivations, assess our resources, and embrace the uncertainty that lies ahead. But even with careful planning, there will be detours, surprises, and twists in the plot. The key is to stay open, to navigate the unexpected with grace, and to learn from every turn of the page. Remember, every chapter and every experience, no matter how joyful or challenging, contributes to the richness of your story. So embrace the new chapters, the blank pages, and the evolving narrative of your life. It's a journey waiting to be written, a story with the potential to be truly remarkable. Step three, spend more time living in the moment. Self-sufficiency often brings to mind the idea of living off the grid, maintaining lush gardens, and mastering do-it-yourself skills. While practical abilities and resources are essential, the true key to flourishing in your unique way lies in a seemingly straightforward yet potent ingredient, living in the moment. Rather than being consumed by future worries or past nostalgia, both of which deplete valuable time and energy, embracing present moment awareness empowers you to unlock your full potential. 
This involves freeing your mental space from the burden of what might happen or what has not yet materialized. Living in the present allows you to reclaim this mental energy, enabling you to take action, plan effectively, and relish the joy of forging your path. Additionally, cultivating gratitude for the abundance already present in your life becomes easier when you focus on the now. This gratitude keeps you grounded, fuels your resourcefulness, and motivates you to continue building your self-sufficient haven. Being present also opens doors to new experiences, making you a magnet for unexpected delights and meaningful connections. Learning new skills, meeting like-minded individuals, and finding inspiration every day become natural components of your journey. Unlocking mindful presence is simpler than you might think. Engaging in mindfulness practices such as meditation, deep breathing, and spending time in nature are anchors pulling you back to the present moment. Mindful activities like cooking, gardening, or pursuing hobbies with intention become avenues for focused awareness. Accepting impermanence is crucial in this journey. Change is inevitable, and viewing challenges as opportunities for growth and learning allows you to let go of clinging to the past or fearing the future. Living in the moment is not a passive acceptance, but an active creation of memories that enrich your self-sufficient life. Consider inspiring ideas like starting on an RV adventure to explore diverse landscapes and cultures, starting a community garden to connect with neighbors and celebrate the joys of creating together, or hosting themed potlucks and skill-sharing workshops to build a network of support and celebration. Remember, living in the present doesn't mean ignoring the future or neglecting the past. It's about finding a harmonious balance, using the past as a guide and the future as inspiration while fully embracing the richness and boundless possibilities of the present. Start your mindful journey today and watch your self-sufficient life blossom with joy, connection, and a universe of potential right at your fingertips. Step four, reprogram your brain. Creating a self-sufficient life might make you think of cabins off the grid and gardens filled with veggies. While these things are important, the real key to success is changing the way you think like rewriting the story inside your head. This is tough but rewarding and a big part of your journey. Why is your mindset so important? Well, going for self-sufficiency often means doing things differently from what most people do. This might make your friends and family curious or worried. They might give advice or try to talk you out of it. Here's why it's important to stay true to yourself. Your path, not theirs. Your dream of being self-sufficient comes from your special ideas. Remember, you're not trying to prove anything to others. It's about what makes you happy. Doing things differently makes others think. When you choose a unique path, it makes others think about their own choices. Use this as a chance to talk openly and understand each other. Be your own champion. The only person who really gets your vision is you. Trust yourself, learn as you go, and keep your eyes on your main goal, a life that matches your deepest values and makes you truly happy. So how do you start changing your thinking for self-sufficiency? Challenge negative thoughts. Find the thoughts inside you that say you can't or it's too risky. Replace them with positive thoughts like I am capable and I am creating a life I love. Focus on what you have instead of worrying about not having enough. Appreciate what you do have. Start small, celebrate each step, and see your independence grow. Find inspiration. Surround yourself with stories of people who became self-sufficient. This keeps you motivated and helps you learn from their experiences. Changing how you think is an ongoing thing. There will be times when you doubt yourself or face challenges. See these as chances to grow and learn. Here are some steps to help connect with nature. Spend time outdoors. It helps you find your inner strength and feel more grounded. Practice mindfulness. Things like meditation, deep breathing, and writing in a journal can help quiet your mind. This lets you focus on the present, where you often find clarity and inspiration. Build a supportive network. Surround yourself with people who understand and support your choices. This community can be your anchor and cheerleader. Changing how you think for self-sufficiency isn't about forgetting who you are. It's about growing, seeing things from new angles, and creating a life that truly fits your deepest wishes. Trust the process, enjoy the journey, and watch your self-sufficient world grow, not just on the outside, but inside your own mind. And there you have it. Four simple steps to guide you on your path to self-sufficient living and leaving society. If I could go back and talk to my younger self, I'd say embrace the change, 
live on your terms, and enjoy the journey. That's a wrap for our Farm Pole Life episode today. We invite you to be part of our off-grid living and homesteading community. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our information with your friends and family. Let's build our community together. Thank you, and we will see you next time. Thank you.